This is a video about my journey of how I designed and created an aluminum drone frame. This is just showing how I started when I was designing this frame. Originally, I had it so that all the arms could be replaceable and it was not just a single unibody frame. But then, as I wanted to make this drone out of aluminum, I decided later on that I would make the whole frame into one unified piece instead of four individual pieces or six individual pieces. This is the final product of what I came up with when designing this drone. The lighter shade is the aluminum and the darker shade is everything made out of plastic except for these standoffs right here. Those are aluminum as well. And I'm pretty happy with how it looks besides these camera mounts. I don't like that too much, but that's not too hard to change. The frame was pretty durable until I crashed it a little too hard one time. Then I think even carbon fiber would have broken there. But it was a really cool proof of concept to show that aluminum drones can also fly basically as good as carbon fiber drones. I 3D printed this drone as a whole unibody just to see how strong it would be. And to try and make it stronger, I added these little slits where I could put carbon fiber uh, slats in, I think that's what they're called, to make the drone frame stronger. And it worked a little bit, but it still was not strong enough to hold the forces or withstand the forces of a five inch racing drone. So it like freaked out and it hit the ground and absolutely got destroyed. I got one good flight out of it and then I crashed and it all just snapped and went into like a million pieces. But that is how I made or designed at least my drone. As we watched the frame get manufactured, I just wanted to give a huge thanks to Terry and Marty over at Kuiko for being kind enough to let me use their machines for this project. Kuiko offers high precision CNC in and injection molding services for your project slash company's needs. It's finally done. The frame. So shiny. So pretty. Yeah. So smooth. Compared to the 3D really printed one, fits right on top. Boom. Alright, just got the drone all built. Looking pretty good. The aluminum frame on the bottom. Run on 6S. About to do the first test flight. Alright, first test flight. In 3, 2, 1. Alright. It actually flies. Definitely need to tune that. All right, we're all ready to do the first main test flight with the aluminum drone. So, got all set up, got a 1300 milliamp hour battery on here, uh, run 6S, and we're about to do full weight with a GoPro. We have video, recording, synchronize or whatever. Okay, let's aim it down at that view. Let's see if that looks good. Alright, that looks good to me. Yeah, this one's so good. Holy crap. Yeah, it's actually so good. Inverted Yachtin. Yeah. 
See if we can get that power loop. I fly as well. I'm gonna land it early though. happy with that. As we watch the final flight footage here, I just want to talk about the performance and specs of the drone. So performance wise, it performed great. It had great throttle response, great punch, it handled really well, the prop wash wasn't too bad, and the specs of the drone were it is running a 6S battery with a Gemku 55 amp ESC and the HGL RC Zeus F7 flight controller and is running Express LRS receiver T motor VLOX 1950 KV motors AKK Race Ranger video transmitter and finally the Foxier T Rex 1200 VTL FPV camera. Now, weight wise, it is a tad heavier than my current freestyle drone and by the way this is meant to be a freestyle drone this is meant for like acrobatic moves and the aluminum drone came in at exactly 800 grams with when it was fully loaded with a GoPro battery everything and my current freestyle drone that I've been flying for a while which is the carbon fiber frame TBS source 1 v5 comes in at 742 grams fully loaded so the difference is not huge but it's still heavier than what a carbon fiber drone is, which is not the best. But it's it performed really well, which is what I'm happy with. And in the future, there's a good chance I will try making another aluminum drone or CNCing a carbon fiber drone that I designed. But if I remake the aluminum one, I'm definitely going to make it thicker and probably make the arms individual so that I can replace them when it breaks or bends. Because right now... The whole frame is toast because one arm bent from this crash you're going to see coming up. But that's all I wanted to talk about. Thank you guys so much for watching. 
like, and subscribe. I'll see you next time.